What is up you guys, it's Shocks back with another video. Playing Kiana in the mid lane against uh, Galio. This time I went to Conquer build. Here is the runes, feel free to pause. Dude, just give me the kill, man. I really wish I got the p kill. Actually, you know what? Don't be greedy. Just stick with it. But yeah, I took level 1 W first because it's like a little like extra flash, technically. You know? That little dash to use flash whenever I need to. And it should do more damage. More than my Q, because my Q level 1 literally does like, what, 88 damage? Yeah, not not a lot. I'd rather get the attack speed. So that was actually a great start. Nunu's uh, level 1 star with the W is actually just so broken. I feel like if you're the enemy team, you should 100% expect it every time. Ekram's gonna be topside mostly. Summer in the jungle. It's gonna poke him a bit. I'm gonna try to find Hecarim in his jungle somewhere. We can hit level 3 off these minions. Okay. Nice. Wow, this is actually such a good start. All because of that level 1 and me pushing in my wave and roaming, trying to find Hecarim who was late to his uh, jungle camps. Push that in. Nice. <laughs> he was gonna get executed anyways, but looks like uh, he gets out with the flash. Got your teleport. Oh. So close, man. Actually, Gally is gonna come mid. I kinda wanted the kill. I kinda missed. That was my bad. I could have got the kill, but uh, <laughs> I thought I had I had a rock element there for some reason, but actually I didn't. So uh, kind of into. Not gonna lie. 
You know what, I'm just gonna keep the wave here and then when the next wave comes in, I'm just gonna hard push it. Crash it under his tower, take a room. I'll be level 6 by then. And hopefully we can get something done. I do have to watch out for heck room. So yeah, I'm just gonna push this in real quick. And then I'm probably gonna gank or go have top side. Into Hecarim's jungle. Yeah, I don't think I could have made top side in time, so. Nice. I'm just gonna go bot side here. Yeah, I'm just gonna ditch my wave and then go bot. Yeah, because even if they see me come, like. They can't really do anything about it, so... Take a reset here. Let's get Eclipse and uh, Tear of Goddess. Please protect me. Oh my god, thank god. Dude, I would've been pretty tilted if I got my back cancelled there. Well, he should've pushed that. I don't know why he did... Why he didn't. That's fine. Hard work is for those who forget. Yeah, they see me come bot, but what can they do about it? Yeah, we did an ult there. But if Galio ulted, we probably could have killed him as well. Push that in. Max my W second here. And we're just gonna look for Hecarim in this jungle. Why is he just backing in front of? A wall being. Okay, I'm just gonna stay out of vision for a second to hope that uh, Lucian went back, but it seems like he did not. Just gonna life steal off that. Push this in. I might be able to one shot with my Q here on the back line here.
guys. <laughs> Yumi got out trying to block it, but <laughs> ended up cucking her. Okay. Akram should be dead here. Just gonna keep pushing mid. Now I'm gonna go top to defend it. This way is a lot less downtime because Riven would have to go all the way top from uh, bottom, so. Just gonna shove this out real quick. Get some of this plating. Kinda wanna go back. Get my black beaver. Uh, I should probably stay here. And then pressure. I'm still a lot stronger than him, so there's really no reason for me to back. Ah, uh, he's dead already. Okay, let's go Black Cleaver here. Wait, he actually didn't die. Monka. Yeah, let's go Lucidity Boots here. Uh, they should play around me because I'm the fed one. Nice. Yeah. I think if I stayed, I would have died as well. Because Hecarim is actually really strong. He has so much armor. But with this Black Cleaver build... I should be able to one-shot him. Okay, let's get this last plating. Ekron's most likely topside, but it's okay. I think I can outplay both of them. Okay. Damn, I feel like if Nunu came straight away, I could have probably turned it around. Dude, I should have just turned on Lucian when I just saw him come out of this bush, but I was not able to react that fast enough. Okay, we should be careful here. That Lucian is so dead. Oh my god. Okay, I do have to play a little safe. They're all bot side, so they're probably gonna try to get a kill on me again. Just gonna keep grabbing grass here. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep my wave around here. No need for me to push up because I'm not really pressuring anything because they're not really defending top. So they're just gonna try to get a kill on me and get the bot tower. So we're just chilling onto dragon. My team's top side. Not like I can push and then roam. Okay, 
Okay, looks like there's four on the map. We saw three mid. Gonna start pushing this up so we can set up vision around dragon. Grab ice here. Actually, I'm grabbing. Three, two. Nice, good zoning ult. Okay, we can try to fight this now. Team is doing good on the back line or on the front line, and I'm just holding them back with my stealth. So basically, I'm like quote unquote tank because I'm taking aggro, and then the purpose of tanks is take the aggro while your team line I mean, your team take care of the back line. Thank god he didn't have ults. This Yumi's on Hecarim, so. Can't really fight. Might have, uh, might still have ignite and exhaust from Yumi, so. Yeah, that's not. I want um, Riven to go bot here. And you know what? I'll take a reset because uh, I have a lot of gold. Just realized. Take a word. And then let's start working towards uh, Mana Mew for more ability haze. And after Man Immune, I'll go to Grudge, and then the Grudge would be the final item, basically, before the game ends. Once I get the Grudge, I literally like would do true damage to everybody in their team. Never mind. I will figure that. I thought they would be. Uh... I'm gonna go mid, hopefully I, can, I don't get over here. Okay, whatever, we traded with Hecarim. Hecarim's so strong, man. But we were able to clean this up, which is good. I think we can start Baron here. Yeah, once I get uh, Serelda, I should be able to literally melt Tekram as well. Just 1v1 on him. Yeah, we have um, Kai'Sa, so hopefully we can get them. Yeah, Hecarim just respawned, so there's no way they get it. And this is the new smite. Okay, nice. Just gonna sell that. Uh, you know what? Let's just get a longsword. Let's just 
get more damage. Screw the... Screw getting pink ward. Okay, I'm just gonna get on a flank position here. This is warded, but I have no time to catch on that. They got that chicken boy, right? Okay, Nami got it. Nice. Okay, we should be able to get Oh, I can't even respond to that. Okay, we're just gonna go back here. Uh, they might try to catch on to me here. Gonna grab up the grass. I missed my Q. I'm actually griefing here. Yeah, I could have killed uh, Lucian, but I don't know what I did. I pressed the Q when my Q wasn't up or something. I don't know, but anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Um, like I said, please do not go this build every game. Uh, I do want you guys to try out this build. It's especially good into like team comps like them. They have like three melees, so against their team comp. Go this build, I think this is like the best build, but if not, Electrocute and Eclipse um, and Umbral Glaive is also good. But I mean, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this build. If you guys tried it, leave a thumbs up. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.